Many people will experience a uh, broken bone at least once in their lifetime. I know I've had my share. Usually fractures do not pose a serious threat, but depending on the area and the severity and the treatment, the outcome can be very different. There's a doctor at the Korea University Kudo Hospital who has been solely focusing his efforts on treating complicated fractures. Men and women of all ages are subject to fractures in the bone even from small impacts. Just in Korea, more than 2 million patients are treated for fractures a year, and the numbers continue to rise. There is one expert in the country who has been focusing on treating broken bones for the past 15 years. This patient sustained an open fracture from an accident he got into while driving a forklift. He received initial treatment from a different hospital, but found no solution there. I received treatment from a different hospital for about two months, but they said it would be hard to treat and they would need to amputate my leg. But then I heard from someone about Dr. Oh jong and that he's good. So that's how I ended up coming here. Open fractures are when broken bones caused by direct or indirect physical impact falls or traffic accidents penetrate the skin. The area is then exposed to risk of infection, requiring immediate treatment. If not treated properly, it can lead to skin necrosis or require amputation. We remove infected or dead tissues using radical debridement, like you will remove a tumor. When you do that, you end up with not enough skin around the fractured area, which is why we conduct plastic surgery at the same time. This increases the success rate for open fracture treatment. Muk jong -won fell from a 4-meter height and received a surgery for a severe open fracture. She also came to Dr. Oh jong gun after being told at a different hospital that treatment will be difficult. After surgery, the leg is exposed to a lot of germs. But Dr. Oh was very meticulous in checking the area for associated risk and symptoms. So throughout the whole process, I felt very much at ease. Unlike open fractures, intra-articular fractures occur in an area involving a joint space, so the injury can only be examined thoroughly using a CT scan or MRI. Without precise reconstruction of the articular surface, post-traumatic arthritis can occur, leading to severe pain and the joint may need to be replaced with an artificial one. Out of intra-articular fractures, Fractures in the acetabulum required highly trained skills because despite not being able to see the displaced articular surface, it needs to be aligned perfectly with no room for even a one millimeter error. Dr. Oh jong is a specialist when it comes to this surgery. There are many muscles, nerves and blood vessels that block the way, so you can't see anything and essentially can't get a visual of the displaced articular surface. You need to use your hands to feel your way and realign the area, so it's an extremely challenging operation. Dr. Oh in 2011 was invited to the AO Trauma Current Concepts course in Davos, Switzerland, conducting master's level courses at the AO to fracture specialists from around the world. Dr. Oh jong has focused extensively on fracture treatment, taking on every case as a new challenge each day.